király! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back and feel the music because you're listening to Vault Supreme Synth VGM Dream Stream Machine Broadcast. All right, fellas and shillers, welcome back to Vault Supreme Synth VGM Dream Stream Machine Podcast, the podcast that plays the synthiest video game music in all the universe. Well, folks, originally this week was going to be the underwater episode, but I'm still working on it. It's going to be quite large. There's a huge variety of songs from all eras of video game music. There's crazy story elements and lots of collaborations. So, yeah, it's coming hopefully next week. So today we're just going to do a little fun episode instead, and we're going to be looking at the music from the series Groove Coaster. It's basically a a mobile and arcade rhythm game, and we'll be looking at the music from the mobile games, which is Groove Coaster, Groove Coaster Zero, and Groove Coaster 2 Original Style. Uh, To be honest, the soundtracks are not amazing by a long stretch but in and amongst all of these tracks there are some really great songs uh, and some really fun or funny songs uh, is enough to make a, a good episode so I've already played a couple of my favorite songs so you should have a pretty decent idea of what style of music Groove Coaster is. Anyway, let's kick things off with a track from Groove Coaster 2. This is Vault by Aran. Enjoy. pretty hard hitting start to the show there's lots there's lots of these techno and house style songs which is pretty well suited to a game like this but um I don't, for, for me the genre can get pretty boring pretty quickly so I didn't choose a lots of these styles of tracks but they, they certainly dominate the game and the soundtrack um, but yeah I did like that track 
Um, yeah, so as it's one of these games where you have to hit the screen in time with the rhythm, the bass drum is very strong and prominent throughout most of these songs. Like, usually a little bit more so than what you'd have if it was just a song being written for the sake of, I don't know, just listening to it. And yeah, often the, the kick drum or the bass drum goes completely nuts. Uh, which I'm assuming is just to bump up the challenge and make it a bit fun. Yeah, it can get pretty funny at times. But yeah, we'll definitely get to a few of those more insane tracks. But this next one is one of the more chilled out tracks. Uh, it's from the original Groove Coaster. It's Geometric City by Yeto Kitsukasa. Enjoy. <laughs> I introduced that as a pretty chilled track, but uh, I think I'm going to take that back. It, it's pretty intense. It's it's kind of chilled out compared to a lot of the other stuff, but yeah. Anyway, that's a great song. Some really nice chords and melodies and that. Very classic Japanese VGM in my opinion. And um, it's probably one of the more complex compositions of all the soundtracks. Some classical jazz elements, all those borrowed notes and key changes. It's definitely not house music, that's for sure. But it's it's still got a really solid and groovy bass and drum. Anyway, great stuff. That's a really nice track. And all these tracks are really short. They're mostly around the two minute mark. So yeah, we're just gonna fly through these. But yeah, up next, this is an interesting one. This it definitely stands out from the others. I've tried to pick a, a good variation of songs, so most of the songs I've picked actually do stand out from the uh, soundtracks as a whole. But anyway, this this is an interesting one. It certainly reminds me of one particular band. So this is Revenge of the Arkanoid by Zun Tata from Groove Coaster. Enjoy. <laughs>
Man, those synths are no doubt replicating Juni Morrison and Bernie Royal Funkadelic in Parliament. If you're not sure what I mean, go listen to Funkadelic's Not Just Knee Deep, which is one of the greatest funky synth songs of all time, in my opinion. You'll hear it, that line almost note for note, just with some different chords underneath. But yeah, that, that is an extremely short song, which is perfectly fine. But uh, now I want to get to one of my favourite songs of this episode. This is just the perfect song for this game, in my opinion. As I previously mentioned, uh, being a rhythm game, the songs are often written a bit silly with over-the-top kick drum parts, which I'm sure are just there to provide more challenging gameplay. Well, this next song, similar to the song I played on the Seth Curry episode, is just (laughs) over-the-top crazy. It's so silly. And what I love about this is that it, it does. It just goes all out. If... If you're going to be stupid and write a crazy song, don't do it half assed Go the extra mile and do it properly. And that's exactly what this next song does, in my opinion. It, and this could be the equivalent of a boss battle. I'm, I'm sure it is. Like, it's just insane. Anyway, enough talk. This is Marry Me Nightmare by T Plus Pazolite from Groove Coaster 2. All right, this is so much fun. It's like Crypt of the Necro Dancer on a caffeine drip or something. Just some some pretty tight rhythms and grooves in there, even as much as it's absolutely insane. And yeah, it just goes off the rails and all those sampled voices, they're just it's just so dumb, but it's good fun. I would love to see a drummer do a cover of that. I'm sure. Sh- I'm sure some of those kick drum parts go into 64th or 128th notes. It just literally starts turning into an oscillating note. It's so fast. Anyway, we move on. Let's try to calm down a bit with a track by a composer I'm a big fan of. This is this song is Miami Sound Beats by Mitsuto Suzuki from Groove Coaster Zero. Enjoy.
retro synth style track. Mitsudo Suzuki is, he's a very talented composer and this is quite different from the styles I'm used to from him. He wrote a lot of the music from the Final Fantasy 13 trilogy, which is maybe what he's best known for. And he works closely with one of my favorite composers, Masashi Hamazu, which leads us into our next track. And this next track is Flakes from Groove Coaster. It's a song by Imrut, which is a group consisting of vocalist Mina Sakai and Masashi Hamazu. And Mitsudo Suzuki is involved quite a lot with this group. Um, and I'm, I'm not, actually not going to play the Groove Coaster version. I'm going to play the Far Sa Far Imrut album version, which was remixed for the album by Mitsudo San himself. And I think it's I think it's actually a much better version. So that's what I'm going to I'm going to play. It's a pretty wild track. There's a lot of dissonance and it may not sink in after one listen, but I really love it. And all the weird dissonant bits, they it, it all really grows on you once the uh, shock factor wears off and you, and you get used to it. Anyway, this is Flakes by Imruit. Enjoy. I love this track. That's pretty good in my opinion. There's pretty much nothing normal about that song at all. The composition is just wild and production or the remix is pretty wild as well. And look, if you've enjoyed any of the Masashi Hamazu soundtracks I've covered in previous episodes, I highly recommend that you check out Imruit. It's I-M-E-R-U-A-T. 
It's, I mean, that was definitely one of their harder songs to palette, but they are really, they're really great. Mina Sakai was the main vocalist on the Final Fantasy 13 soundtrack, and I really loved all their tracks. They really grabbed my attention. So when I found out that they had actually formed a group together, I was pretty happy. And look, they also worked together on many of the Hamazu soundtracks. I'm pretty sure she's like the CEO of his um, record company as well. So yeah, there's a strong connections between them and they make some really great stuff. Anyway, Mitsudo Suzuki. Let's play one more of his tracks. This is another fun song. I'd love to imagine that this is him doing the vocals. It's pretty funny stuff, but it's it's great as well. This is Freestyle Beats by Mitsudo Suzuki from Groove Coaster. Enjoy. Wake the people to fight against the power in the dark that you gotta resist. Think of the future if you got in the fear. Every moment is a life on death. Every moment is a life or death. Future. <laughs> what, what a fun track. I, I love those lyrics. They they just sound great, but have no real meaning to them. It's just a bunch of uh, cool sounding phrases just plopped together. And it's this weird accent that's kind of somewhere between English and American. Anyway, I love to hear people step out of their comfort zone and do something like that. Great stuff. Lots of fun and not too serious. Mitsudo Suzuki. Man, what a cool dude. Anyway, (laughs) Um, up next, we've got Eclipse Landscape by Cosio from Groove Coaster. This is a pretty laid back track, so enjoy.
was a pretty nice track. Lots of uh, nicely sampled sounds, the bells, the voices, and all those little percussive clicks and noises. Great track. But yeah, Groove Coaster. There's quite a few arcade games that I haven't actually listened to yet. Uh, I'd be keen to check them out, but they don't seem to be available at least through the channels that I use. Maybe I can find them if I search using Japanese characters or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this lightning speed, very short episode checking out Groove Coaster. If it was too short for you, next week's underwater episode will no doubt make up for it. It's going to be... Uh, it's going to be very long. I've been working on it for a while. So, yeah, thanks for tuning in, folks. The season is nearly finished. So, remember to follow me on YouTube, Instagram, Spotify, all those things. And and I'll try and go back and update all the Discord links after the last episode so you can come hang out with all us hip dudes and dudettes. Um, I think I was uploading new Discord links or pasting new Discord links every time. I didn't realize that every new link uh, cancels the previous one. Alright, well this is the last track of the episode. This is a very nice upbeat track with some really nice and fast vocal melodies, which is pretty cool. Again, another track that stands out from all the other ones and it definitely stands out from the whole a uh, group of soundtracks. So enjoy this last track. Remember to stay synthetic and I don't know how to say this. This is Hasey Casey Dotton's Yarn by Buteo Teme from Groove Coaster 2. I don't know, you'll have to find it yourself. I'll paste I'll I'll paste the track title in the description and you can search it up if you really need to listen to it again. Anyway, Enjoy this track, whatever it's called. See you next week, folks. Dori, dori, sake.